When we share technology from the wider Autodesk portfolio, its ongoing development is also shared, giving you the benefit of any improvements. One example of this is the high-speed corner fillet option. Introduced in Autodesk Power Mill 2020, it calculates a triangulated fillet model which is used during toolpath calculation to add smooth arcs into the internal corners of a toolpath to help protect your tools and preserve feed rates. This option, which is available on all three axis strategies, has now been developed further to increase the initial calculation performance on larger models when used in conjunction with toolpath boundaries. In this tutorial we have a reasonably sized tool whose block of material is 980mm in X by 510mm in Y by 415mm in Z. The area we will be focusing on is these four dark blue open pockets which we will be using to illustrate the improvement to the model fillet calculation. Note that we also have some extension surfaces that will be used to help neatly trim the toolpath to the boundary. In order to display the triangle model for each version, we will be making a side-by-side -side comparison between PowerMill 2021 and PowerMill 2020.0. In this instance, both versions have been run independently on the same Lenovo ThinkPad P71 workstation laptop, which has a quad-core Intel Xeon E3 processor, 64GB of RAM, and an NVIDIA Quadro P4000 graphics card. In this comparison test we will be looking at the calculation of a steep and shallow toolpath within these open pockets. Note PowerMill 2020 is on the left and PowerMill 2021 is on the right. Going over to the Explorer tree we will right click on the uncalculated toolpath and access the settings. As you can see in both cases we have the fillet corners option switched on for both. We are going to hit calculate on both toolpaths to compare the overall calculation speed. Note there is an initial delay in the PowerMill 2020 calculation prior to the toolpath processing. In PowerMill 2021 we can see this is where the triangulated model fillets are defined. The result is that PowerMill 2021 finishes the toolpath calculation first. Comparing the calculation times we can see that PowerMill 2020 took 42 seconds to calculate, whereas PowerMill 2021 took 5 seconds less to perform the same process at 37 seconds, resulting in a 12% saving in time. The reason for the time difference becomes obvious when we look at the underlying triangle model. From the view tab we will select the additional options pop out dialog from the appearance section to access the model drawing options. We are going to press Control and tab on the keyboard to access the secondary page. This allows us to toggle the triangle display on. Select the draw triangles checkbox to show the triangles used and then close the form. Note that we can see the additional triangles which define the fillets inside the pockets, as expected. But if we modify the view slightly, we can see that as we move away from the pocket, PowerMill 2020 still shows additional filleting on the triangle model, whereas PowerMill 2021 has limited the additional filleting to within the toolpath boundary. And it is this difference in the filleting model in PowerMill 2021 that results in both a reduced overall calculation time as well as smoother graphical manipulation when the triangles are displayed, letting you program your parts even quicker.